everybody and welcome to Rising Stars. My name is Michael Vadakis and this is where we showcase local Montreal talent that's on the rise. I'm joined today by local Montreal actress Ira Alagao. Ira, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having it's me. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And I actually saw that we worked with the same director. Mm -hmm. He's also an actor, which mm -hmm. I'm excited to get on the show at some point, oh, Dwayne awesome. Paterkin. Yeah, yeah, I know the dude. And there we go. Yes. Tell me a bit about that experience working with him, because I know it's always super fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so basically, um, the short film that we did, it's called Woman's Hunt, if you want to watch it. Um, it was the first time that I was doing an on-screen work mm. since I started acting um, okay. for real, for real, okay? okay? I'll tell you more about that later. Yeah, for sure. Um, so it was fascinating to see an actor direct his own film, mm. right? Because one second, he's a director, he, so he has a totally different hat on. Yeah. And then as he calls action himself, he's right into like the waters of like, okay, I'm an actor now, I gotta do my job, you know? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's very fun ha to see how uh, an actor director working on his own film is like a chameleon, you know, you're like a shape, a shape shifter. Yeah. And uh, it's just, um, I like seeing how your focus can get redirected really quick mm. in um, one thing onto another. And I feel like as an actor, that's something really, that's a skill you can take on so that you could portrayed into your, your own experience as an actor. Uh, and as a person, he's really fun. He's <laughs> super yeah. chill, super nice, yeah. easy to talk to. And I feel like that too is something that you could take in as an actor. Of course. Yeah. Of course, it's always nice when the, the set's more lighthearted and exactly. more calm. Yes. But um, heading into that, you said it was your mm -hmm. first work on camera yeah. since you started your acting journey. Yes. Tell me about what got you into acting, what <laughs> interested uh -huh. you. Okay, so what got me into acting basically was since I was a kid, I was always watching TV. Mm. I was always watching movies. I think if I recall well, I started watching like Disney movies, right? Okay. And at a very young age, I was like wondering, okay, how are, how are cartoon characters? Like, are they real? Are they like real talking animals and stuff? And then as I got older, I got into like the more real life movies, right? Mm. And then I'd be wondering the logistics of it. So I'd be wondering like, how are they filming this? Where are the cameras hidden? Mm. How many takes did they take to do yeah. this? How did they make this effect and everything? So I was more interested into how a movie was made. Uh, and then when I got into elementary school and high school, mm. I got into theater okay. and apparently I was pretty good. So I was like, okay, I'll pursue that. Yeah. Uh, and because people thought I was like a good entertainer, I started loving it even more, yeah. right? So um, it was something ingrained into me already at that point. I had considered being an actor uh, as a profession, mm. but you know, real life <laughs> talks Bills, to yourself, yeah. exactly. Uh, and people also like doubting you, you mm. know. Um, so I had like pushed that aside for a bit okay. and I was like going to a more realistic route. Okay. So I studied teaching and everything. Oh. But in the back of my mind, I was like, this is gonna be a backup plan. Like, yeah. I wanna be an actor. I wanna be an entertainer, you know? I wanna do something for people um, with that art medium. So I was dreaming a lot mm. for the past years about how can I do this, right? So at some point I was like, I'm gonna move to LA and I'm gonna like work at Starbucks and yeah. I'm gonna get discovered. Yeah. But that's just like dreams, you know? I mean, it could happen for some people, yeah. right? Um, but I didn't start taking action for real until February of this year. Of this year, February 2023. Exactly, okay. yes. So a few months ago. Because I was like at home, you know, I was <laughs> at home watching movies and I was like, I'm sitting on my butt when I could be the one up there doing that, like playing that role, yeah. doing that film, you know. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to learn how this works. And I learned how the industry worked. I learned how to get started mm. and boom, here I am. Like if I hadn't taken action, I wouldn't be doing this interview right now. Exactly. Right? So yeah, um, I'm in the beginning of my journey. That's it, that's <laughs> Pretty it. Much. That's yeah. the best place to start. Me too, I'm three years in, so mm. you're always learning, you're always exactly, developing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's actually funny you say that because it's very similar to the reason I started mm -hmm. is because I saw an audition, Yeah. somebody auditioning for a role and in my head, I went, why can't that be me? Exactly. Why can't yeah. I get that role? 
Right. So it's very interesting you say that. Mm -hmm. But you said you went into teaching mm -hmm. a more realistic route, exactly. for lack of a better word. Yep. Do you find now that you're starting your acting journey, are there things you take from your teaching career into your acting, mm -hmm. or do you take your acting into your teaching career? Yeah, actually, that's a funny thing because my students helped me get into acting mm. in the sense that they were t watching me teach and they were like, teacher, why are you not an actor? Like, teacher, why are you here? Why, why are you teaching? You could be like out there, you know? Yeah. And I was like, you know, that's exactly the comment I needed for me to just go after my dream. Yeah. So they helped me do that because apparently like uh, when I teach, I'm very expressive. Yeah. Very expressive. I, uh, Which engages them. Exactly, yeah, because yeah, right now the tension spans are like all yeah. over the place, right? So uh, they tell me like, you know, you're very energetic. Uh, you engage us with like how you move, how you talk, whatever. So like, <laughs> why are you not out there like doing other things than teaching? So I was like, yeah, okay. Um, and how I take my teaching experience into my acting. Well, um, as a teacher, you have to be very disciplined. Yeah. You have to have self-control, but yeah. you also have to be able to be moldable and teachable yourself, right? Even though if you're a teacher. So I think all of those skills just bring it Bring, bring it together. Of course, yeah. yeah. So now, staying on the teaching acting mm -hmm. subject, yeah. are you training currently for acting? Are you taking any classes? Mm -hmm. uh, basically, no right now because, you know, as an adult, like <laughs> you have so many yeah, things going on. You 100%. work, you got bills to pay and all that, right? So um, I was actually considering very, very much uh, mm. to take professional training and, mm. and stuff. But realistically speaking, that stuff's really expensive. So I got to like uh, save up for that, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I am definitely considering it. Uh, if I can start in Montreal or online, I'd definitely do mm. it. Um, but eventually I'd want to go to like New York or yeah. Los Angeles for, for, sure. for that stuff, right? For sure. Yeah. And now that you're in the beginning stages of your journey, mm -hmm. because I remember when I was in the beginning stages of mine, yeah. it was beautiful having all these doors open up. You yeah. have the film, you have the, the theater, mm -hmm. the voiceover. Yep. What's really been drawing you more? Do you find yourself more drawn to theater, film, TV? Mm -hmm. That's an excellent question. And the excellent answer is, I'm trying to keep both, uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep both um, platforms. Mm. I think for now, I'm more into film, okay. just because there's more opportunities for it to be seen around the world, right? Yeah. Uh, but I did start in theater, so yeah. I'm trying to keep my roots as much as possible. Also, because you get skills from theater that you won't necessarily get uh, in film acting, or yeah. you know, vice versa. Yeah. Or it gives and takes, right, from each other. So, you, yeah. But to be more direct in answering the question, I think I'm more into film, yeah, beautiful. and eventually TV series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And your first role in yep. Dwayne's The Woman's Hunt. Mm -hmm. Take us through that process of preparing for the role for yeah. the first time. For the it, first it's time. a new mm -hmm. feeling, it's something new that's occurring in your career. Yeah. Take us through that journey of um, preparing for that character. Okay, yeah. So basically, um, the character is someone's girlfriend mm -hmm. um, who gets killed first. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm the one who dies. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm the one who got bit. No, actually, wait. No, I just got bit and then I became like a vampire and yeah. then I became all weird and then I get shot. Okay. Yeah, sorry to spoil the whole thing. No, that's all but, good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but actually, it's funny because during the audition, which, which was a self-tape, yeah. I did a face mm. and it was like a, you know, a creepy face. Yeah. And that is what got me into that particular role because I had to be creepy afterwards, right? After I get turned into a vampire. So I think a lot of my personal self and how I am in real life, mm. it just helped a lot uh, get into that character. Okay. But uh, once Dwayne was directing me, he allowed me to have creative freedom into uh, building that character. That's awesome, especially at the beginning. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So it's very freeing to be able to work with directors who do give you space to do your craft, yeah. right? So that was yeah. pretty fun. Beautiful, mm -hmm. and now like we said, you're doing your, your teaching, you have other things going on in your life. Mm -hmm. Are you still auditioning? What's the schedule like? Uh, yeah, uh, right now I'm trying to not bite off more than I can chew. That's so I have um, a play that I'm currently working on nice. that's gonna be presented in like October and okay. eventually January, and yeah. across the year basically, across okay. this year and next year. So 
I want to put my focus in one place at a time so that I'm not all over the place and then I'm stressing myself and I'm getting tired and then I'm like doing auditions and then I can't do that that project because I have this other thing going on, yeah, you know. For sure. So like you said, you know, like it's it's very fun in the beginning when you, all these doors are open, mm. but you also have to take control of your situation, you know, yeah. um, to not burn yourself out much more <laughs> like, you know, you're just getting started and you're already burnt out. So uh, my schedule right now is basically working, teaching, <laughs> uh, focusing acting. on, yeah, exactly, acting, not sleeping. Um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to uh, jump on opportunities, but the right opportunities. For sure. While not compromising what I'm currently working on, because I'm trying to stay loyal, you know, to my projects. So. And am I able to ask what you're currently working on? I don't want any uh, spoil or. Oh no, uh, yeah. it's okay. It's uh, a play. It's a French play. Okay. About like uh, people who were basically going through their life journey, okay. how their life changed them as people and everything. Uh, so it's kind of like Friends but not friends you okay. know the tv show yeah yeah, yeah that um and then another thing what else am i working on oh, there's so much uh <laughs> that's the main thing for now okay yeah mm -hmm. okay and is it the first because you did acting in the theater in yeah. high school is yeah. the first kind of like professional yes yeah exactly yeah and yeah. how do you feel the switches from the high school days to now uh I years think, later yeah i think it's a lot of the same thing. Uh, it's a lot of working together in teams with yeah. a lot of new people, taking direction, uh, following them. And I think now that it's in a professional setting, that's a really good question. I think now that it's in a professional setting, you're doing it in front of people you have no connection with. Yeah. Apart from your friends and family, right? Like anyone from the street can be like, oh, there's a play playing tonight. I'll buy a ticket, yeah. you know? so. It's different in that sense, but the skills that you're bringing into it, going into it, yeah. uh, are the same, I find. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And what kind of was a moment on set, because it was your first moment on set, mm -hmm. where maybe it was a bit intimidating or you got a bit nervous? Because I remember my first role, Yeah. I had to play this douchey character <laughs> who talks loud and has his chest out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my real self, I'm a bit more reserved, mm -hmm. soft-spoken, so yep. I was talking to them. Oh no! Okay. And, every, and it was like no, like the cameras are on. We have to. Mm -hmm, this exactly. is being an actor. Yeah. Did, have you had that moment yet? Have you? Uh, yes and no. But um, to answer the intimidating part. Yeah. When I first got into like a, on, on set, like with Dwayne's project, yeah. I was like, whoa, the gear. Yeah, that's yeah. really <laughs> what, what intimidated yeah. me. Cause you know you got these big cameras and you got the mics and you, you're mic'd up and all that. And you know the, you got the clapper, and yeah. you're like, "Oh man, I've I've been seeing this in like behind the scenes of yeah. films, and now I'm actually doing it." Yeah. So that's what uh, was intimidating, but in a good way. Yeah. Because now you know, okay, you're doing a job, and you got to get it done. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And at least as le less takes as you can, right? So exactly. that was a really fun experience. But uh, to answer the actor part, um, I think no for now, because you really had to switch it up, you know. Exactly. Really fast. Yeah. So. Yeah, it takes a lot of focus, but once you get it done, it's it comes in naturally. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we spoke before about you were watching movies. You wanted yep. to know how the movies were exactly. made. Yeah. When you got on set, the gear, the the equipment. Yeah. Is that something you see more in the future of your career, mm -hmm. being behind the camera as opposed to in front of it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because uh, if you look at you know those big actors, A-listers now, yeah. they all started off as actors, and then they went on to produce their own stuff, right? Or direct even, yeah. or they're doing both, like Blaine, like <laughs> they're yeah. directing and acting exactly. in their own films. Yeah. So definitely, but realistically speaking, I have to give myself time. Course, for yeah. that, yeah. yeah, like at least 15 years. I don't know, <laughs> maybe, maybe less. Whenever it comes. Yeah, yeah. but uh, for sure, doing uh, behind the camera stuff, I do love it because I'm also a YouTuber. Mm. So I, you know, I do edit and stuff. Okay. And uh, yeah, doing all that work as well behind the camera is really fun. Okay. Yeah. And your YouTube is it for acting? Is it for? Uh, no, it's actually reaction videos to Russian videos. To Russian <laughs> to videos. To Russian music videos. Do you videos. speak Russian? Heck no. No. No, not at all. Yeah. I just know. Previate, and that's it. It means hello. Hello, hello, <laughs> yeah. hello. Exactly. So yeah, no, I do uh, reaction videos for uh, Soviet like um, movies or TV shows or 
music videos. Okay. But I, you know, once you get into a niche, it's really hard to branch out, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to integrate more of like my personal life or my other interests into it as well. Because okay. once you do build a following, people are more like, okay, now we want to know more about your personal life. Yeah. So tell us, uh, show us videos about uh, cooking Filipino food or watching Filipino movie, you know? Mm. So yeah, but I would love at some point to put some acting stuff on there because I put it a lot on my Instagram yeah. and I do have some of my subscribers on YouTube into my Instagram following, right? Yeah. So they keep messaging like, so when are you gonna post like videos about, you know, this thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. And yeah. do you find that things you're doing in your daily life, maybe you bring it into acting as well, like your hobbies? I see you're very active yes. on social media. Oh my gosh, what? Longboarding. Yeah. I, <laughs> I had to do it for the interview. Okay, the yeah, research, no worries. No worries you know yeah. I mean? uh -huh. Oh, yeah. that was you. Okay, nice. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, I get it. Uh, yes, actually, um, longboarding, for example, uh, my director's um, they saw that I did that. So they were like trying to find ways to incorporate that mm. into a scene or into like a personal project, yeah. you know? Um, so yeah, I guess that's to answer the question is yeah, like, yes, a sure. lot of uh, hobbies and stuff. Uh, now that people know that I sing too, for example, in the play that I'm doing, mm. uh, I have like a bunch of monologues in, in that and they're like trying to make it Disney-esque so okay. that I could like somehow sing into it. Also, because my character's name is Elsa, so like, <laughs> Frozen. You know, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it's, um, I feel like all arts and even sports just come yeah. together yeah. Yeah, sure. into this melting pot called acting. Of course, yes. of course. And we're talking about Disney movies. Mm -hmm. What was the Disney movie? Because I watched last week, I was, I was sick, I was down with the a Little flu. Mermaid? No, Tarzan. Oh, okay, oh wow, okay. Tarzan, nice. yeah. But uh, which Disney movie kind of inspired you? heading forward into your acting career maybe? Uh, that's a good one. The Lion King. The Lion King. Yeah. Because now my favorite animal is the lion. <laughs> it's yeah. a personal thing. Yeah. Uh, but also the Lion King because there's a lot of scenes in that where you really feel the voice acting come to life. Mm. You know, if you were to compare the Disney classic, that scene with the remake, the 2019 remake. I, I believe so. Yeah, yeah that one that one there if you were to compare both scenes the classic is alive where the remake is dead yeah so that's where i'm like oh okay there's that's where the acting comes in yeah. it makes all the difference yeah. right so yeah i think that's that's one of the movies where i'm like oh i'd like i'd love to go into a voice acting as well for sure yeah and is there talking about the lion king is mm -hmm. there maybe other movies where heading forward you're like oh, i'd love to have play that Played character that. or be in that movie or <laughs> work with this director. Yeah, so many, yeah. so many movies. But to name a few, I'll just keep it as straightforward with like my favorite films. Mm. Or maybe, no, I, uh, I have this friend who is currently here. Uh, <laughs> I sent him the character type lists. I okay. made a Word document, you know, because like yeah. uh, it's part of the process to know what kind of characters you're able to play, of course, right? Of course, of course. So I listed out all of my favorite movies, or well, some of it. Yeah. Um, and one common thing that I would really love to play is like the mean bitch character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're super sweet, so Exa that'd yeah, be it's awesome like to the, see. the yeah. opposite. But I had the opportunity in one of these projects, uh, directed by some students, okay. uh, to play a character like that. And okay. I was like, I dig this. I want more. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, any, like, bad character, a villain, mm. a Disney villain. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Super awesome. Like, I'd, play, I'd love to play Maleficent. But yeah. Um, yeah, so villains. Um, sidekicks also. Mm. That'd be fun. Uh, I don't see myself playing like a leading lady in a romance. Oh, no. <laughs> in a rom no, 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 no way. Nah, like you have to be like pretty tall Charlie's Theron type of actor, and I'm like not that. So I'm like, I'd rather play the leading lady's um, like best friend, you know, okay. like quirky best friend, rather okay. than that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As the, and is there any actresses where you've seen their performances yeah. and you've been like, oh? I could see myself doing that. Like uh, when you were saying that, kind yeah. of, she was brought up in the last interview as well, but Zoe Deschanel comes yeah. to my head. Oh, she's yeah. really pretty. Um, there's a lot of actors where I could probably put myself mm. into their role, but one actress that I really admire is Kristen Bell. Yes. Because she has done all sorts of characters. Like she played a Disney princess. She, in, you know, uh, Frozen, right? Yeah. Uh, voicing Anna. 
she played a bitch in burlesque, which was really awesome. Yeah. Like, I, because of that role of hers, I hated her as an actress. But when I saw her in other films, I was like, wow, she's really versatile. I wish to get to that level at some point in my career. So she's someone that I really, all her roles, I'm like, I'd love to play that. Yeah. Because um, she's also done, you know, movies, TV shows, and uh, voice acting. Yeah. So there. But it's more the male leads I find that um, that I really want to play. Mm. Um, some of my greatest inspirations are Jack Black. <laughs> I love Jack Black. <laughs> For the comedy, have you, have you know. Have you seen Nacho Libre? No, but oh. have you seen Tenacious D? I have. Okay. Pick of Destiny. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. At School of Rock, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like my top actor yeah. for now. That's yeah. awesome. In the, yeah, for guys. For sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. Wow. Yeah. And now heading forward, are you yeah. with an agency? Are you kind of just hustling, sending out emails? And mm -hmm. uh, Actually, there was an agency who emailed me okay. uh, for representation because they saw my profile on Casting Workbook. Okay. Uh, so they were like, oh, we're interested in uh, having uh, and representing you. Yeah. I was like, oh, should I do it? Because I'm only like two, three months into my career. Mm. You know, I'm not really making that much ma money right now and everything. So I waited it. I'm waiting it out right now. But uh, eventually, yes, for sure. Because, you know, it will help me get into like bigger productions and be like bigger auditions and, you know, all of that. Yeah. Uh, but right now, like, like I said earlier, I'm trying really to not bite off more than I can do. No, through. for sure. Yeah, because I still have a lot to learn, yeah. right, about like agents and managers and all that, right? Yeah. Um, but yes, eventually I would love to. Um, but right now I'm just taking my time. Yeah. Yeah. So right now I'm like an independent <laughs> actress. Independent actor. Yeah. Exactly. Non-union, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And it, it it's working. I mean, I'm yeah. getting gigs, so that's pretty good. That just speaks to the power of hustle, just able to put exactly. yourself out there on your own. Yep. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's how the inter industry works now, right? Exactly. Like, uh, before you even get considered for an agency or anything, you already have to have work done, right? Exactly. You have to show them that you're marketable on your own before they do a lot of work for you, right? Exactly. So, I'm training in that area yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. Like, one of my acting coaches had told us, an agent takes 15% commission. Yep. For that 15% commission, most of them will only do 15% of the work. Mm. The there other 85%, <laughs> it's all, all you. you. Yeah. You've got to make it happen. Yep. So yeah, that's very true. Very mm -hmm. true. And now, heading forward, because we're talking about you don't want to bite off more than you could chew, but yep. we all have dreams, we all have goals. Yep. Kind of take me through what your plan is for the next year, mm -hmm. maybe the next five years. Where oh, do you I'll see yourself you the as next an actress? Five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, sorry, what <laughs> was the question over? Yeah, it's over. It's okay, over. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so in the next five years, uh, I'm planning on moving to New York City okay. just because like I already have friends there, I have family there and uh, I have like my long work community there, mm. I have my church there already. Um, so moving there would be much easier, especially for the job that I'm going for, right? Yeah. So I'm going for uh, obviously the film industry, right? Yeah. Which is very big over there. Um, yeah, so that's my goal for now. It could be sooner, it could be later. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be alive tomorrow, right? That's not so good. I'm like, okay, take it slow. But yes, that's my plan. I'm really trying to avoid Hollywood right now as much as possible because mm. I want to get that experience before I throw myself into, you know, yeah. the big league, right? So yeah, 100%. that's my plan for now. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And are you writing in the meantime? Are you? Um, not writing scripts okay. yet. Uh, but I have written stories like on Wattpad <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. They're not scripts, but you know, something like that. Uh, but right now I'm more focused into songwriting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What kind of songs, if I may ask? Is it uh, <gasps> romantic? Is it kind of edgier? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it depends on my mood and my inspiration in the, okay. uh, right now. Um, for sure, like I take from my personal experience because that's really when the words flow. Yeah. Um, but. I think the songs I've written so far are about like crushes, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> crushes, obviously, uh, and just staying strong, you mm -hmm. know, staying, st staying steadfast in who you are, uh, not being discouraged because like someone said this about you, right? Like yeah. you need to have a backbone in this industry. A hundred percent. Oh my gosh. 100%. Okay. Yeah. That's part of being a good actor, I find. Um, so yeah, I do write, but not scripts yeah. for now. And that brings mm -hmm. me to my next question, because yep. we're talking about backbone. Mm -hmm. Receiving, because I've received negative critiques on yep. my performances, as has every actor, actress. For sure, yeah. How 
do you deal with that? Maybe hearing, maybe hearing a criticism, whether it's constructive or not. Mm -hmm. How would you go about dealing with that? Uh, well, the good feedback is super easy yeah. to, to get. But then what's hard is that you shouldn't let that get into your head. Yeah. You, know? you shouldn't like, let yourself go because then you become arrogant. right? Mm. Uh, so that's concerning the good feedback. For the bad feedback, yeah, it stings. I'm like, bro, yeah. like you go home and you cry. Well, human. <laughs> you yeah. know? Uh, but on set, it's like you gotta be professional. You know, you can't like cry in front of your director, be like, oh, how, how could you not like this? You know? Um, so you really have to take it in, assess it. Why did they say this? You know, yeah. you have to turn, turn the critique towards you because they're not blaming you. They're not doing like a blame game, right? It's something that they're telling you to do because it's going to make the film better exactly. for you and for the viewers and for everyone else working on the film, right? Exactly. So because, just because they say one bad comment, it's not, it's bad for now because it, it'll hurt. Yeah. But it's going to be for the greater good of everything, right? Exactly. Once, once the movie's out. Exactly. Um, and yeah, that also builds your backbone <laughs> at the same time. 100%. Um, but yeah, once you get home, then you can cry. Yeah, you can let it all out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cry yourself to sleep. Exactly. I do it. So. Yeah, me too. All the time. <laughs> there we yeah. Go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, so sorry, I just had a blank in my head. Oh, but I want to talk about. Yeah. Backbone. 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 Courage. No. Money. All right, let's talk about money. Okay. Let's talk about money yeah. because at the beginning, it could be tough starting out like you said mm -hmm. you have your job exactly but is this something you want just as a career like that will sustain you oh yeah for sure yeah, uh that's i think that's to be honest if i'm speaking for every actor out there that's kind of like their end goal right yeah. so to make it to hollywood and win an oscar right and do do their passion for a living basically yeah. right so yes uh, i would love to at some point but like i said like <laughs> give myself 10 years or 15 you know of course um Oh no, I have a blank too. Oh no, it's wait. All good. Well, we're both hitting blanks. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. We're talking about That's money. Fine. I was going. I was going somewhere with this. I swear. I promise. It was something good, but I totally forgot. Um, oh yeah, like um, like like we were talking about starting out, right? Mm. It's kind of hard because, like, in any business and investment, yeah. you're gonna be putting in more money yourself first, right, before yeah. gaining it. So, yeah, speaking for every other actor, too, I think that's something that everyone goes through, yeah. right? Not a fun thing to share, but it's the truth, no, 100%, right? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we all gotta, we all gotta have another job for now. Of course, to sustain <laughs> to our sustain career. To sustain the career, there you go. Of course, go. yeah. Yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. yeah. And switching over now more to the artsy side of it. Yep. Has there been a piece of, because you're a singer-songwriter, mm -hmm. a piece of music or maybe a film or TV mm -hmm. show that's that's really touched you as an artist mm -hmm. and has motivated you mm -hmm. uh, like that I heard from a movie or from, from a movie maybe a piece of music like yeah. in my last interview I had spoken about uh, Stevie Wonder oh okay nice. one of his songs had really yeah touched me recently and mm -hmm. uh, I think any movie where whether it be animated or uh, like a trilogy or whatever yeah. uh, as long as the soundtrack is good mm. it'll touch me yeah, especially if you throw in violin and piano at the yeah. same time, like, well, bro, like I'm crying, okay? Um, but right now, what I'm really into is the empowering soundtracks. Mm. So, for example, How to Train Your Dragon. Do you, you see that one? I'm going to be honest with you, I might get some flack for it, but I haven't seen How <laughs> yeah, to Train Your Dragon. Ah, no. <laughs> no, it's something you got to <laughs> yeah. watch, especially the first film, because the soundtrack in that is amazing okay and there's a scene where the guy is learning how to fly his dragon mm. and he's having a really hard time but then at some point uh the music tells what's happening in the scene basically yeah. um so he's struggling the music is like conveying that and stuff and then at some point he gets it and then the music just swells and it's like Fuah! you know and you're like wow i'm feeling like that a lot of times in life because you know like <laughs> you get thrown a lot of things right yeah. And then you think about that music and you're like, I, I could actually, I, I'm, I'm, how do you call this? Like, um, I get a boost mm. and I get reminded that even if I'm literally falling into the ocean right now, because I don't know how to fly a dragon, yeah. if I get it, I'm going to like soar back up, right? Yeah. So that piece of music, really touching Beautiful. yeah, and inspiring. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. And any favorite composers? And I can name a ton. Uh, John Powell. 
Um, Michael, G the dude who made up, you know, the yeah. that. Uh, so John Powell, uh, Howard Shore, Howard Lord Shore. of the Rings. Um, who else? Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. Uh, Alan Silvestri. Mm. Uh, that's a lot. Um, Carter Bur Burwell for Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think those are the ones right now that like really pop up in my in my mind. Oh, the um, composer for The Incredibles as well. Mm, yeah. That's a great movie. I know. That's a good yeah, movie. really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And now touching more on a personal note, because mm -hmm. I believe you come from a Filipino family. Yes. Uh, which, to my knowledge, is very traditional yes. in their beliefs. Yes, got that right. Yep. Just like me, I come from a Greek family, more traditional, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. want to stay. Exactly. They want you to stay in your lane, for lack of a better yep. word. <laughs> uh, when you told them you were acting, mm -hmm. you were starting this journey of acting, yep. what was the, the reaction? A reaction. Okay, yeah. so basically, uh, in my younger years, when I was still like you know uh, navigating through college and university, I told my parents I want to get into theater mm. or film. <laughs> the reaction was like, no, because yeah. it's such a hard, it's such a hard industry. You gotta, you know, all that. Yeah. You've heard it too, probably, yeah, yeah. right? Okay, there you go. So obviously that discouraged me. So that's why I got into teaching. Act, teaching, yeah, yeah. teaching. Um, but now that I actually told my mom, you know what, I'm diving into this because that's what I want to do, yeah. and I don't see myself doing anything else. She was like, okay, yeah, go for it. Yeah. I was like, okay. So now that I'm older, I guess, uh, now that my mom sees that I know what I'm doing and that I'm actually a more rounded person than who I was when I was in CJ, you know, she's like, yeah, yeah, go for it. I, I know what you can do. I know you. It's not going to tear you down. And yeah. I know you can do it because, like, you're funny and you're entertaining. So, like, why not? <laughs> Just go, go for it. And, um, yeah, she, now she's really proud of me. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> she's going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was the... Initial reaction that everyone goes through, I think, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> uh, hmm. Next question. Sorry, I'm having a blank. My <laughs> no bad. Worries. No worries. Um, social life. Yes. Yeah, so tell me about your social, social life. life. How uh, it affects your social life. How acting affects my social life. Uh, mm, oh, I guess. Um, I try to have a specific amount of time for my social life, mm -hmm. uh, despite whatever's going on in my career. But my friends do understand, you know. They're like, oh, "Okay, you have a you have like a, a filming to do. Okay, it, it's fine. We yeah. can hang out next week, right?" But at the same time, you kind of feel bad because you're ditching your friends when yeah. you said like you'd go, right? But uh, as long as you have understanding people around you, that's good. And as long as you make it up to them somehow, yeah. you know, uh, you also uh, hold up your end of your promises. That, that's totally fine. Uh, but now I'm trying to find a balance between social life, acting, working, all that. For sure. Yeah. And I do share a lot of my acting life. With them. <laughs> with my friends now. Fun. Yeah, because uh, they ask a lot of questions, yeah. obviously, right? So like, oh, uh, how, how do you film this or whatever? And I'm like, oh, now I know how yeah. they film this because I've been through it, right? So you, wa you share that and people actually like behind yeah. the scenes stuff. Yeah, so yeah. when I do get a piece of footage of like a project, I yeah. like show them. I show them and they're like, oh, this is awesome. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you excited when the bloopers get sent to you oh. if they're, yeah? Yes, of yeah. course. Like I would honestly just watch bloopers and behind the scenes of every single movie I've ever yeah, seen. So would I, yeah. Yeah, so every time like uh, I, I watch a movie, for example, right, and the end, end credits roll, I'm always like, is there a blooper? Please make it there be a blooper yeah. while the credits are rolling. Yeah. yeah, or, but yeah, no, bloopers are, are the best. 100%. Because then you get to see like the actors as people. You exactly. Know? You get to see like the gear. You get to see like the, the mistakes, right? Like we said, they're just doing a job. Exactly. It's just a job after all. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. They're just people. Exactly. Yeah. And you had brought up your love life. I'm just. We don't have to touch on it at all if you don't want. But Dry. Drier than the Sahara Desert. Beautiful. Yeah. I was gonna say because maybe sometimes the acting can intertwine with the love life. Actually, yes. Let let us let's talk about. We, let's do talk we have about time it. to, to do, do Okay. We so do. basically, right. So I'm a Christian, right? And when I do get married, you know, and I'm an actor, let's yeah. say in Hollywood at that point, right? That's, at some point, I'm going to have to do some, like, unholy things, right? Yeah. Like, so there's really, like, no... 
you're really putting the career. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk about my to my husband about that. Yeah. You know. But uh, I'm because it does happen in the industry <laughs> exactly, where it's happened the before, where yeah. there's been conflicts of interest. Exactly. And yeah, I could see how that how that would affect. Really yeah. So right now I'm training myself to not do any roles that require me to do like unholy things, That's right? Awesome. So it'll be easier for when I get married, right? Yeah. But no, uh, the career the career should never trump over my for family sure, life. For sure. Yeah. And is there any roles you're aiming for more now? Like, do you mm. find yourself maybe being typecast? Because mm -hmm. I know at the beginning for me, I was typecast. Yeah, yeah. Like my first three or four roles, yeah. it, was, it was the same role. I go, okay, I've seen this before, I've seen this before. Yeah, yeah. Do you find yourself kind of falling into the same groove? Uh, for now, no, because if I really look at the roles I've played for now, they're very versatile. Mm. Like uh, I played cute girl at a cafe, and oh. then vampire, <laughs> yeah. and then a haunted like janitor, at a school, yeah. and then what else? Like, uh, 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 I'm doing a play where I'm basically playing someone who's uh, coming out of a rut because of mm. mental trauma and yeah. physical trauma, right? So that's different from all the ones that I just did. I played a bitch, <laughs> which is awesome, yeah. um, and other things. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm, I can actually have like some diversity in my portfolio, yeah. right? For yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, to answer the question about what roles I'm aiming for now? Honestly, anything. I don't. I really don't mind supporting mm. roles either. You know, yeah. like as long as, to be completely honest, as long as I can get some credits on my resume. Of course, at the beginning, that's what. It's whatever. All about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But in the future, um, if I get cast as a as a leading lady, I'm gonna be like, okay, cringe, but I'm gonna do it because it's a job, right? Yeah. Um, but if it requires me to do unholy things, I'm gonna turn it down. Like right away for sure like at that point in my career I think I wouldn't care about money or anything anymore yeah. you know um, yeah and I would love to play in an action adventure an action film. adventure yeah okay like with guns and explosions yeah and stuff. yeah well probably not but also fantasy okay like Lord of the Rings esque mm. you know like yeah. I'd love to play Legolas or like Gimli yeah. you know again they're not the main guy no but, but they're in the story they're in the story and, and an they're there part. exactly yeah. yeah and people still love them right of course. even if they don't have many lines or whatever of course but yeah fantasy and action that'd be action. fun action is there an action film that you saw and you're like oh this is so cool like <sighs> like for me it was mm -hmm. uh, Roadhouse with oh, Patrick know. Swayze okay yeah where uh, he plays like a Oh, tough guy bouncer and oh, I was right, like, right. Oh, that's so cool. I'd love <laughs> so to do me, that. I do yeah. it. Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. The that's one with Drew Barrymore. And yeah, the yeah, classic. Yeah, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah. No, not the garbage like <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. Yeah. The classic ones. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And was it like are you training that for that? Like stunt wise? Are you uh, doing some maybe martial arts on the side? Honestly, no, but I'd no. love to. Yeah, because yeah, that'll open a lot of doors, you know, for roles like that. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And it's sad, but in Montreal, it's very, um, there's not a lot of it going on. Mm -hmm. Like, as for the stunt side yeah. of the camera. Yeah. So, it's, That's so I true. find as an actor, it's harder to, to get that training. Exactly. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's possible somewhere else. Of course. If you yeah. have the budget and if, you know, yeah. all of that. Yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Ira, it was an amazing interview. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It was yeah. a real pleasure getting to know you. Thanks. And you too. YouTube. Do you have any last comments, projects you're working on that you want to shout out? Uh, watch Rewind <laughs> and come to see my play. And I hope to see you all on set someday. Yeah, for sure. Or Same on the here. red carpet. Same here. Yeah. Same here. Thank you so much. A pleasure. A real pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. Sorry, my hands are sweaty. That's uh, all good. Mine too. Mine too. <laughs> God, yeah, clam, so embarrassing. Clam palms. Yeah, I know. Gosh. Yeah.